Hey, welcome back to the book of 1 Samuel this morning. And let's go now. Then what's happened? They, they were defeated. The Israelites were defeated in battle by the Philistines. They said, well, what's wrong? You know what? We weren't presumptuous enough. We didn't bring the ark with us last time. Let's bring the ark and let's go fight again. That's not quite what it says, but let's read it and we're going to see what happens. So we're going to look today at 1 Samuel chapter 4, verses 5 through 9. Straight to it. And when the ark of the covenant of the Lord came into the camp... All Israel shouted so loudly that the earth shook. Now when the Philistines heard the noise of the shout, they said, What does the sound of this great shout in the camp of the Hebrews mean? Then they understood that the ark of the Lord had come into the camp. So the Philistines were afraid, for they said, God has come into the camp. Then they said, Woe to us, for such a thing has never happened before. Woe to us! Who will deliver us from the hand of these mighty gods? These are the gods who struck the Egyptians with all the plagues in the wilderness. Be strong and conduct yourself like men, you Philistines, that you do not become servants of the Hebrews as they have been to you. Conduct yourselves like men and fight. Well, now, this wasn't quite the plan, I think, that God's people had, right? That uh, we're going to get, this, get the Philistines stirred up to maximum courage and maximum, you know, back against the wall and... And uh, they're going to fight as hard as they possibly could. That wasn't really quite the plan, but that's the way it's working out. That's the way it's working out. They bring the ark, indeed. They bring it right up to the battle. And it's with God's people in the battle. And now the Philistines hear about it. And what do they do? Instead of uh, cutting and running, they take courage. And they think this is an existential threat. This, is, you know, this could be the end of us as a people. Gather up all of your courage. Gather up all of your strength and fight like your lives dependent on it. And so that's what they're going to do. So this is what happens. It wasn't quite the plan that the Hebrews had. And so tomorrow we'll find out then what happens. But today, an interesting line here. You know, we assume people will react a certain way, and it isn't always that way. Sometimes things go south. Sometimes things go in the wrong direction. And you know what? Whenever we are acting presumptuously, it's pretty much a guarantee. Things are very likely to go in exactly the wrong direction. So we're going to find out tomorrow morning what happened here when they brought the ark into the battle. And they thought this is a sure thing. Now, is it a sure thing? We'll find out tomorrow morning. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, many times there are unintended consequences. There are things that we didn't anticipate because you were smarter than we are. Uh, we make little plans, tiny plans, not well thought through plans sometimes. Especially if we're acting outside your will, uh, we are likely to bring exactly the wrong result into the picture. So, Lord, help us. Help us not to be presumptuous. Uh, this battle, this battle is coming now, and it looks like we're off to a, a strange start. So, Lord, we look forward to seeing the result of that, and so we can learn from it. Help us to learn from it even now, Lord, by recognizing we are prone to be our own worst enemies when we're acting on our own wisdom. The wisdom of man is foolishness with God, and many times we'll see, unfortunately, the sad and dark results of trusting in our own way. Help us not to do that and be our leader, Lord. It may be a lesson today for God's people, of all things, from the Philistines, to gird up our loins and be as much as mighty as we can, do everything that we do with might, and perhaps, Lord, you will be with us in those cases. Be our leader, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So, friend, there's a lesson for us. The Philistines did it with all their might. We'll find out tomorrow morning what exactly happened. Hey, have a wonderful day being in the service of the God of heaven. He will be with you if you are with him.